April 7, 2020 in Milwaukee. It was terrible. At the beginning, I didn't know that I wanted to tell a story about voter suppression. COVID was spiky. I had to really choose my health over exercising my right to vote. I was terrified for my life to vote. People are going to look back at this election and say that it went off as well as it possibly could. And I remember leaving angry. My name is Miela Patau. I'm the producer and director of Metcalf Park Black Vote Rising. And I'm Brad Lichtenstein, and I'm also producer and director of Metcalf Park Black Vote Rising. My family and I are from a small country called Eritrea, but I grew up in Milwaukee. From the moment that my family and I moved to the United States, we were instilled that if we had the privilege to be citizens, we had to vote every single election, no matter how big, how small. I turned 18 while working for John Lewis's campaign. I'll never forget voting for the first time because I was working for the campaign and we were 24 seven for so many days. I made it to my polling place like within five minutes to spare <laughs> to cast my first ballot of my life, of course, for John Lewis. We know what it took for black people to vote in this country. I remember when I turned 18, I voted for the first time. I went with both of my parents, seven o'clock in the morning, very early. It was such a momentous occasion. Every time there's an election, me and my family are text messaging, wanting to know how long we waited in line. It's not official until we see the voting sticker. Guess who's already with her ballot? <laughs> Going okay. to the box today. Metcalf Park Black Vote Rising is a story about two dynamic Black women organizers in Milwaukee. Who are making sure that they organize their community so that the votes in their Black community count in the presidential election. I would have hired Melody regardless of who she was because she loves my people. Hey, Miss Ophelia, how you doing? You looking good. That pink is popping. She happens to be my daughter. They are just two of the most uh, incredible and raw Black women organizers I've ever had the opportunity to meet. Hey, how you doing? They ride for Black people and for the Metcalf Park neighborhood so hard. There's a scene in the film with a young voter who is very cynical. So why you can't push yourself this time to vote? I just don't really care for you. But you care about us, though. You care about the community, right? When she said she might not vote. So you gonna vote? Yeah, I might. Ah, I might. OK, so answer my phone. Danelle was pretty rattled by it. Everyone in that community is their family. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is LaQuandra Shaw. And hey, I'm doing like four things at once. Don't One of my me. favorite scenes was Maria's birthday and how at the end she's pouring a glass of something. I feel like I really accomplished some, some mother stuff, you know, which is really hard to do in 2020. So I'm, I'm going to toast to that. I'm going to toast to that. What I love about seeing Melody catch a breath really humanized her, but really humanized like Black women and Black women organizers. Although we appear to be resilient and invincible, sometimes we need a break. Oftentimes we're planning our kids' birthdays last minute like any other person. That if we're gonna have peace, if we're gonna have healing, we must tell the whole story, the complete story. I started 371 Productions when I moved from New York. Our focus has always been on stories that are related to social justice. That mission has kind of expanded into mentorship to really lift up the voices of women and people of color and to nurture their careers so that they can bring their stories. Metcalf Park really was Miela's story. It was her idea. It was so profound that my associate producer was a 
black and Latina women because we just got things that I think non-black women wouldn't get. We, we bounced ideas around uh, Danelle and Melody instantly because of our shared connection of being black women felt like uh, a sister and, and like a mother. And that's so much of where the play came in at times. They say, I, they say uh, I get it from my mama. It's yeah. real. <laughs> That makes me want to dance. I get it from my mom. Don't do that on I camera. It. I just learned that there's no better person that can tell a story uh, about uh, a black woman than, than than a black woman. And Brad. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not true. <laughs> Hi, happy birthday. I really believe at my core that telling stories about America can only be accomplished if you really reflect who America is. Yay! They tried to not send me my ballot in the mail, but I'm still here voting. Yeah. They had us waiting in lines in the cold, but still we vote. Oh, yeah. yeah. The two things that I hope people take away from this film is that one, voting is so essential, and two, that black women are valuable all the time, not just during election season. Nicely put. Woke up this morning with my mind Stayed on freedom Woke up this morning with my mind Stayed on freedom with my mind Stayed on freedom